Hey everybody, this is Rex Bear with Leak Project. I hope you're having an awesome day today. It is December 30th, 2016. It's almost the new year. Many of you have heard September 23rd, 2017 is actually talked about in Revelation in the Bible. So we're going to find out here in about nine months. I'm pretty excited about that. But what I wanted to bring to your attention is there's so much going on right now on the global stage between Russia, the U.S., Donald Trump, President Obama, the administration of Obama, essentially, Vladimir Putin. What is going on? Donald Trump wins the elections. Shocks most of the country, most of the world, probably, in my opinion. Some people felt he was going to win. But a lot of people that I talked to thought for sure Hillary was a shoe in including myself. And that just kind of shows you sometimes we can get stuck in that old paradigm. So I don't know if I was listening to my gut or if I was just believing in what I thought was going to happen based upon what I've seen in the past. So, But if you think about it, Donald Trump is offering change. Well, that's the same thing President Obama did. And... <laughs> You know, that's that's a whole other episode. But what I wanted to bring to your attention is if you guys have watched House of Cards, if you've kept track of House of Cards, if you haven't seen season four, then this is a spoiler alert. I, you know, if you want to watch it, maybe don't watch this podcast until you have a chance to, to binge watch it on Netflix. But essentially, at the end of season four, House of Cards, Frank Underwood realizes that his presidency and everything that he's built is on the verge of collapse. He's got a lot of stuff over his, over his shoulders, and he's... He's on the verge of collapse, essentially. I mean, he's in a lot of trouble, and the only thing keeping him out of prison, essentially, is staying in office. So he thinks that he's going to lose the election. What does he do? Martial law starts a new war, and you look at what's going on right now with, you know, Donald Trump gets in office shortly after Vladimir Putin comes out, President Putin for Russia, and says, hey, congratulations. Uh, we're definitely going to be willing to work with you guys more now. We're excited about the opportunities and the situation of things. He basically congratulated the American people and the, the democratic process. And I thought that was kind of weird. Didn't you? I mean, don't you think that's kind of, kind of strange? I've never seen anything like that before with Russia. And then shortly after that, the news, all over the news, it's, oh, Vladimir Putin and Russia hacked the elections, and that's what helped Donald Trump get in office. So now there's this big media spin on Russia and Putin having a direct impact on Trump making it in office. So whether you believe it or you don't, that's going to have an impact on your subconscious mind. That's going to have an impact on the entire globe because people are always going to wonder, did Trump really get in office because the Russians hacked the election? And if that's the case, then you could go on to a whole multitude of other ideas and, and your wildest fantasies could, could run Wild. And it's, it's pretty crazy to think about. So I just want to give you guys a quick timeline, essentially, on what happened. Donald Trump wins the election, shocks most of the world. Then Russian president comes out shortly after, praising the U.S. democratic election process and basically says he looks forward to having better relations with Donald Trump and the United States. Then the Obama administration and parts of the CIA come out and say Putin was directly involved in the elections and hacked the system, ultimately getting Trump in office. Then 35 Russian diplomats are expelled from America and sanctions are now being imposed. That's a pretty big deal. So what's next? What's going to happen next in America and Russia on the global scale? Will we find that soon there's going to be terrorist attacks, proxy wars, trade wars, currency wars, cold war, a nuclear war, World War III? I don't know. Is it possible Trump could be working with the Russians? And if so, to what level? I mean, there's, there's nothing wrong with working with other nations if you have common goals and if it's to better the people. I mean, there, there's always been communications to some degree. I mean, if you look at Stalin and FDR, wow. So essentially, there's, there's nothing wrong with having good relations with other nations. That's a good thing. It was just very interesting the way that that whole situation took place. Now people are wondering, is Donald Trump a Russian spy going to be the next president? People thought that Obama was a Russian spy, uh, a, a Soviet-type creation, a Manchurian candidate. So I'm pretty excited to see what's going to unfold here this year in 2017. I do want to let you know what the radiation levels are because a lot of people have been asking me to keep track of that. It's gone down all the way to 0.12 microsieverts per hour. It's gone down to 0.12 microsieverts per hour. What is now considered to be below global standards is actually 50% higher than what it used to be on a normal basis. So we'll keep you updated on that as well. Hope you have an awesome day. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash clandestine time lord. Also exclusive content on leakproject.com. Question everything and be the change you want to see.
Hey everybody, this is Rex Bear with Leak Project. I hope you're having an awesome day today. It is December 30th, 2016. It's almost the new year. Many of you have heard September 23rd, 2017 is actually talked about in Revelation in the Bible. So we're going to find out here in about nine months. I'm pretty excited about that. But what I wanted to bring to your attention is there's so much going on right now on the global stage between Russia, the U.S., Donald Trump, President Obama, the administration of Obama, essentially, Vladimir Putin. What is going on? Donald Trump wins the elections. Shocks 